Now uh, it's time for Tales from the Trading Desk. And uh, Kev, you're on a roll. So uh, what, uh, what tale do you have for us this week? Well, I got a short and sweet one for you, Patrick. Okay. It's from my days at, uh, on the institutional desk at, uh, at a Canadian bank. And I remember I was so proud of myself um, because I had come up with this trade. And to me, it seemed so smart and so clever. And I was just, uh, I, I was so proud that I had come up with this. And I, and I explained it to one of the guys on my desk and he didn't get it. Like I, I literally I explained it to him and he just kind of looked at me and he didn't get it. And I said, why don't I leave that with you for the next uh, hour and we'll talk about it in an hour time. And uh, then I went on to one of my uh, my good friends and uh, the guy who hired me and he got it instantly. Like I explained it to him and he's like, that's a great trade. That's terrific. And then I went to my uh, the, the boss on the desk and I explained to him the trade and halfway through the trade, he, he interrupted me and he said, no, 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 I, you know, I. I got it. And I said, no, no, you haven't heard the really smart part. And he says, no, no, like, I, I get it. You're going to do like this, this, and this, and this. And I said, oh, my God, you really are smart. And then I want to tell you that, like, that was kind of shocking to me how quickly he got it and how and how how smart this fellow was. But then I went right. to see this guy on the um, – Let's just say it was the proprietary uh, desk. It was the envy of Canada. This was one of the smartest guys around, and I contend one of the smartest fellows I've ever met, and he traded proprietary for our bank, and I went to see him, and he was always uh, he was always kind of the envy of everyone. He, you know, you'd go see him, and you'd, you'd ask him, you know, he'd ask you what you were done that weekend, and you'd say, well, I went mountain biking up in northern Ontario and he would say oh that's great and he'd listen to your story very politely and then you'd ask him what he did and he said well I flew to v BC and I went to uh, mountain biking in on Whistler and blah, blah, blah. like this guy was a rock star and then the pisser was he was good looking he was smart and uh, I went to see him and thinking okay this is my chance to really impress him so I, I kind of got there and I started telling him about the trade and he instantly stopped me when he heard the name and he says I've had that trade on for two weeks already. <laughs> so that was my lesson about how, you know what, when you think you're smart, there's always somebody smarter. There's always somebody better. There's always someone that is way ahead of you in the markets. And he was an example of it. Wow. That's, well, that's, that's a, a good tale there. I'd say, you know, it, it's amazing, uh, you know, how, when you're doing a trade like that, like that you, you come up with it, but there's always some catch that you're missing often, often. Uh, and you, you, you have to kind of run it by a number of people to, to kind of always find out wh where you're missing that one little thing, right? Yeah, well, and not only if you're not missing it, it's, it's kind of interesting to, interesting to see how many people are ahead of you and how many people have already figured it out or, you know, how, how long yeah. it takes them to understand the trade. Cause sometimes trades are a little more complicated and uh, there's just such a wide variety of uh, people yeah. that are, that are like of different market intelligence. And when you meet one of these people and shit, this guy, Patrick was so smart. And if I could be half as smart as him and half as wealthy. Yeah. I should. I'd even take a tenth of as wealthy as this guy is. He's gone on to be one <laughs> of the uh, the wealthiest guys in Canada in terms of running a hedge fund. He's really, really smart. And I contend that uh, that he's he's kind of if he if he was American, people would be fawning all over him. And the only reason that he's like this is because he's Canadian. And he's just chosen not to go into the U.S. Because I I'll put him up against the best of America any day. I think he's that smart. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing the story. So uh, let's move on.